I decided to uh, get this uh, Chromax version or the black version of the fan uh, for the NH12, um, NHL12. And while doing that, um, I kind of noticed something interesting was that I had an assumption that this fan was actually faced the other way, uh, that it was actually blowing air out of the case. It looks like it was set up where it's pulling air into the case, uh, a little bit unexpected. Um, it's set up on these plastic rails, you can kind of see right there. Uh, they have it on both sides here. And um, my feeling is it, it, it's actually the fan was closer to this side of the, uh, the fins as opposed to the, the far end of the fins. My feeling is um, it might actually do better if it was actually closer to this end. Um, the other thing I have curiosity is if the fan is flipped the other way, does it perform any better or worse? Um, the other thing that I noticed is that if you take a look at these blades, there is like a couple of notches on each of these, these uh, blades right at the end there. And if you look at this, this fan, um, it does not have those notches. So my feeling is that that small nuance is made so that way maybe they're, this, this, this will perform better in kind of a pull configuration instead of a push configuration, but I'm not really sure. So I think I might give this a try and experiment a couple of things back and forth and see if that actually makes a difference or not. Uh, one more thing is I did put the um, 5600X back into the machine. So I'll take the test results that I had with this and then uh, check them with the uh, fan going back and forth as well as maybe the fan being swapped out with this one and, and seeing if there's a difference in uh, uh, pushing the air out of the, the case. Okay, I just wanna show you the uh, um, fan flip the other way around. Everything is um, against the, I guess the side where the pipes are. And I'm going to mount this back in and give this a try. Okay, so I uh, put the uh, fan back on. It looks like the last test results uh, were worse with the fan blowing outwards. So it kind of makes sense. Um, the fan should blow cool air into the case and it would be most effective if cool air ran across the radiator. Um, so you can kind of see here that I have the uh, fan pointed where it's going to pull air and pull air into the, uh, the radiators, cool air into the radiators. So this is interesting. So this is the stock orientation of the fan and everything is stock right here. Uh, the temperature for the fire strike and CPU profile benchmarks for the Noctua L12, you can see that it's 68.63, 72.63. Taking the fan, flipping it around and pushing air outwards, it, it kind of makes sense. You don't have cool air coming into the system. You have warm air uh, being pushed outwards. So you're going to get, you're, you're going to be a bit warmer and, and it looks like this orientation does not work out very well. Uh, taking the new Chromax black fan, interestingly, it has a different shape on the fins and whatever it is, it seems like overall, the uh, fire strike score is 66.63, uh, CPU profile score, it, it, the temperature is 70 point, uh, or 70 degrees. Uh, it's pretty decisive. It's almost like two, maybe three degrees difference. So I guess I'm gonna go with the uh, Chromax uh, black fan and then uh, keep with the uh, NHL 12 and then see how this works out. I think I might now go ahead and give this a little bit of overclock to see how, how things perform. This is the uh, benchmark after flipping the fan to blow outwards, uh, the stock fan. Max temperature is at 84 degrees. GPU temperature 70.68. And let's see the frequency is uh, maxing out at about 46.4 consistently.
This is the CPU profile. And in that benchmark, uh, again, these scores are probably going to be lower with the uh, max threads and 16 threads. But the max temperature is about. Eighty four. It's like eighty four is where it kind of peaks. And then um frequency is is definitely kind of going up and down, but staying at about that four point six gig. Now this is the fire strike for the black fan. And it looks like they changed the shape of the fins. Um doesn't also have the little uh, notches, I guess, at the end of the blade. So the fan looks a bit different. Uh, it looks like CPU temperature maxes out at 66.63, GPU at 70.18, and the same thing, roughly about 4.64. And it keeps uh, at that level. So it doesn't seem like it's there's much throttling. Um, let me load up the CPU profile. So this is the same back black fan um, with a new shape. And here are the scores. Like max temperature is roughly 70. Yeah, it looks like it kind of peaks out at about 70 right there. And yeah, it's pretty consistent. The, the frequency is uh, 4.64 throughout the whole thing. Okay, I'm going to test the, or check the results um, online, compare them. So what I want to do is compare this against the old score where um, this was with the fan in the stock stock uh, orientation. So that, that uh, fire strike, let's see here, the fire strike score was... 12, 4, 10, this one right here. Um, and then the next one was this one where we took the fan and reversed it so that the fan was blowing outwards. Uh, that score is uh, 12, 4, 92. So compare that. And then this one is the last one where we ran with the back black fan. Um, go ahead and add that. Let's kind of take a look and see how this looks. Uh, so oddly, if you take the fan and make it face outwards, it looks like in Fire Strike, it sort of improves. Um, I don't think it's a huge amount of improvement. There is some improvement. Let me just remove this last one and see the percentages. Yeah, it's it's very small. Very small improvement. And then going from the let's do a comparison of um, the normal orientation and then um, stock fan versus the black fan or the Chromax.
Oh, and oddly, it looks like the Chromax has a little bit of an edge, but it's, it's pretty much about the same. I mean, it's about 1% off, which could be just error, just normal randomness. Um, let's see, so that was the fire strike. Let me do the CPU profile, do the same comparisons, clear all this. So the CPU 5737, this one right here, that was the normal stock orientation, stock fan. And then we have um, this one 5565, this is the flipped fan, and then this one is the Chromax. Let's do a quick comparison. Now, oddly, it looks like the new fan is better at just the max threads. Everything else, it looks like the uh, stock fan works better. Oh, that's, that's disappointing. Let me um, drop the let's see percentages. Yeah, so this is the stock fan original orientation. This is the stock fan blowing outwards. And it looks like it's pretty clear. Uh, this is pretty decisive right here. That um, the fan pulling air in does seem to make a difference compared to blowing the air out. Let me, um, let me compare stock orientation with the uh, Chrome Max. So stock orientation. Yeah, so this is the stock orientation. This is the Chrome Max. It looks like this is very small difference. This is a very small difference. So this could be just, this, this could be just normal error. Same thing with these, but this right here is pretty decisive. So it looks like the, uh, Oddly, the um, the fan with the notches, the stock fan, does a bit better than the Chromax. Must be those notches. I have a sense, though, um, again, very little difference. So at this point, it probably might be just preference. I might just go ahead and leave the, uh, the other fan in there just for uh, aesthetics. Um, it did seem like on the fire strike, I guess the one big thing that I saw, I'll have to compare the results, but it, it looked like on the fire strike, um, the Chromax fan seemed to perform better, which this would be more of a test. That's like, uh, when you're actually playing a game and such. So let me go ahead and compare the results and then see, see what that looks like. 